I've never really experienced anything like that. I've been to Comic Cons before. That was unbelievable. Really, I think all of us, after we walked off stage last night, kind of looked at each other and said, that, that, that was, that was insane. I told somebody, I felt like Harry Styles. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're at X-Con. How are you an Avenger? That doesn't make sense. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man. I want to know how this Quantumania shaped the future of Marvel. Well, we're introducing Kang in this film, who is um, a pretty substantial villain. We'll be seeing him um, play a, an important part in everything going forward. I think that uh, this, what happens in this film um, is going to uh, resonate for what's happening in the future in many ways. Some things I can't quite tell you. I, even though I, the Ant-Man films have played a role in the MCU, they've almost existed as these almost standalone films and this one feels different. Th this film might be our best yet in this brand. I think I'm just excited that we're gonna we're going to keep the sweet family relationship focused dynamic of our brand. It's still about family, there's still humor, it's still light, but raising the stakes. What's harder, facing Kang or raising a teenage daughter? Great question. <laughs> That's a really good question. Yeah. Raising a teenage daughter is, has, has its own unique set of challenges, as does fighting Kang. So right now, I mean, you know, it changes on the day. I think Scott has always had a very close relationship with Cassie and loves his daughter. And really, at the end of the day, that's where all he wants to be is a father and be a good dad to his daughter. And, you know, they've been through a lot and he's been away for a long period of time. And so he still wants to be that father and now he's dealing with a young woman. I just want to, like, hey, finally we have some time. Let's, let's hang out. Let's enjoy life a little bit. Where are we? And in Miss Marvel, we learned that Scott Lang has a podcast. Marvel has movies. Marvel has TV shows. Can we make a podcast? What do we need to do to make that happen? <laughs> I guess we need to talk to Kevin Feige, right? He's the maestro behind all of it. Yeah. Well, you know, as you can see in the in the trailer from Quantum Mania, I mean, Scott's also written a book, so he's really he's trying to become the king of media, I suppose. <laughs> what about Hope? She doesn't what want. Hope? She doesn't want a little bit of this fame, or she, I don't know. She can do a podcast as well. I don't know. <laughs> so Hope is so not interested in the fame. She got straight to work. Like, as soon as they were like, okay, the, the universe is rescued, Scott was like, great, the universe is rescued. <laughs> I can just sit back and enjoy my life and everything's gonna be great. And Hope was like, great, what else can we do now? Speaking of multiverse, it's a new phase of Marvel. If you could play another version of your character or change something in your character, what do you want to do? Well, I mean, I suppose it's always fun to do the, the complete opposite. That was what was so fun with Thor, and you know, and obviously the character that the Kang in our film is very different than the character he's playing in Loki. And so I would probably like to do, you know, play a Scott Lang who's just uh, a total bum, just a. Uh, washed up and uh, sloppy and angry, <laughs> cruel. Mm, I would like to be the hope that you caught a tiny glimpse of when she put the earpiece on in the first Ant-Man movie in the kitchen and she swarmed the room with ants and like blocked out all the light. I feel like there is a bad guy in Hope. I feel like there's this anger in her that if she tapped into it could be very dangerous and very dark and that would be really fun to play. What are you so afraid of? And how do you feel f seeing the fans watching the first scenes of Quantumania on the 66th day? It was amazing. They were shaking the building we were in with their noise. You could feel like your whole body vibrating with the sound of the fans just going wild. That was overwhelming to walk out here and to 
the reception in that room, I've never really experienced anything like that. I've been to Comic Cons before. That was unbelievable. Really, I think all of us, after we walked off stage last night, kind of looked at each other and said, that, that, that was, that was insane. I told some guys, I felt like Harry Styles. If you help me, so what's it gonna be? Batman.